else if you oh vm you are an absolute champion elephants my most favorite animal in the whole wide world hello guys let's see who we've got over here it's a beautiful little herd it looks like mom up in front and i reckon that these are probably her offspring they've stopped to just have a look and you can clearly see that the the female in front she's only got one tusk and it's just amazing how things like that happen and don't worry it's not really going to disadvantage her especially out here where there is an abundance of food to eat but if she were in an area that was maybe sort of more desert like she'd probably find it a little bit tricky only having uh, the one tusk well I suppose one is better than none and did you see that how they came barging out of the thicket and then they stopped as they reached the open grassland just to have a scan a smell a little listen and I wonder if they're going to maybe go and cool themselves down in one of these little pans that are all around this area. It's become quite hot, which is really nice. So we'll try and stick with these ellies. They're not quite on cheetah plains just yet. They're about to pop onto, if they carry on going in that direction, they'll get to us. But lovely, the first elephants I've seen in a long time. Hello, guys. All sticking nice and close, not getting too separated. Oh, there we go. That's, they've got some water. Looks like it. Yay! They did find a little pan. And I don't know how much water's in there. It's quite difficult to see. But there's definitely some mud which will do just fine, I think, on this hot summer's day. Now, they've got the most gorgeous eyes, elephants. And if you've ever have the, had the privilege to go on safari and you've had an elephant walk right past your vehicle you've seen how they almost look deep down into your soul and Kristen you are saying that you love their human like eyes they do they have gorgeous eyes but they've also got those very long eyelashes and, and like I said we're quite a distance away so it's difficult for us to show you how beautiful their eyes are and their eyelashes are but they've got long and, and quite a, a thick wall of eyelashes to sort of just protect their their very sensitive eyes you can hear them splashing about. The little one doesn't seem too keen just yet. At the moment it's acting as a, well, a trunk rest for an older sibling. At the back, as you can see, it's a little bit lazy. <laughs> and I suppose that's what happens. I think I used to do that to my little brother. Not that he's so little anymore. I'm pretty sure I used to rest my elbow on top of his head every now and then. And it's so calm and peaceful out here. And I'm so happy because I was so worried that we were going to end this drive without seeing anything today. But thankfully, the lovely zebra and of now, of course, this beautiful herd, or this little herd of elephants. It doesn't seem like there's too much water in this pan that you can, you can see they're struggling even when they suck up. There we go, there's a bit, but not too much. Come on, little elephant, you're not having a mud bath, you're just eating. Catching up on a bit of grazing. <clears throat> I 